Welcome to the Contractors Institute. My name is Richard Elsey, and I'll be doing this tutorial today. It's on Microsoft PowerPoint how to create a photo album for either show or print. So I have Microsoft PowerPoint open. Now I'm going to go to the Home tab to show you the, these is the menu bar and then you have the ribbon bar underneath it. Now I'm going to create a photo album. So what I want to do is go to the insert menu because that's what I want to do. I want to insert a photo album. So under the icon where it says photo album if I select it I want to create a new photo album. Okay, And it opens it up and says the dialog box and it's asking me, okay, you want to create a photo album. Where do I want to get the pictures from? Is this from a file or a disk? Is, is this going to be a text box? Uh, you know what? So I need to tell it where I'm going to get the photos from. So what I've done is I've already taken some photos and put them in my pictures folder. It doesn't matter where you have them as long as you know where they're stored on your computer. So when I select insert it's going to my pictures and then I've already put some common inspection pictures in here so I'm going to select the first one okay and then scroll to the last photo while holding down my shift key and select the last one now notice they all turn this light blue that means I just selected every photo and that I have in that folder now another option that a lot of people like better is they just take their mouse and select the left mouse button and drag it over all the photos and you select all. There's a couple different ways to do it however you choose uh, right mouse button select all and that's up to you just I've selected all the photos now I'm gonna go to insert now notice what it just did for me it listed the photos out I had 15 of them in there there's the first one now I can if it's I need to rotate it right or left. I can do that if I need to, you know, adjust the contrast or brightness. It allows me to do that right here. Now I can do it when I'm looking at the full photo, or I can do it here in the preview menu. Either way. So there's the photos that I'm going to insert into this photo album. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just hit create didn't do anything didn't touch any other button just hit it create now notice what it did for me if I scroll through this and I'm just arrowing down there's the photos okay that I have now notice some of them's that picture was taken in landscape mode or portrait mode where this one was taken in landscape if you take the photos and all the same direction with the same camera they're all going to look identical okay but these are from different cam yep, cameras uh, taken different ways so these are some miscellaneous photos okay so a smoke detector okay a little so and if I wanted to run the show go back to the beginning and down in the right hand corner one of the menus is it says slideshow now if I hit that it's going to bring it up in full screen and that's what I would be seeing now that's great if I want to show someone you know some photos that I've taken um, it's just like the old slide projector you know you put the slides in the carousel and run it and and here's what you have and then you can talk about the photos as you're showing them now that's one way to do it and that's what it's for now I'm going to delete all the photos in here and show you something else again I've deleted everything and I'm going to go insert again and once again I'm going to go to photo album okay create a new photo album and I want to select the pictures from the file or disk again and I'm going to select the same photo, so I'm selecting the first one and going to the last one, holding my shift key. And again, I'm going to insert. So the exact same thing I did before. 
Now the different, uh, what I'm going to do different here is under album layout, see where it says picture layout, fit to slide? That's where it's going to try to take the picture and stretch it uh, as much on the slide as it can and still hold the aspect ratio. Or I can go one picture per slide. Basically the same thing, but it's going to, uh, you know, uh, make it a little smaller in the center of the screen. Two pictures per slide, four pictures, uh, one picture with a title, two pictures with a title, and so on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go four pictures. Okay, now notice it gives me a preview here of what they're going to look like, four, on the slide. Then I can go, you know, do I want them uh, rounded, rectangular? You can barely see, but it just cut the corners off. You know, a simple white frame, a black frame. Um, what you know the different effects you can get I'm just gonna go with a simple plain rectangular now I've selected four of them and put rectangular on this uh, frame shape now I could insert a theme to this yeah, just play around with the themes uh, if you want to get real fancy or colorful but you know for inspection photos we don't do that just it's a white background with photos on it now one of the other options I'm going to select up here is under picture options where it says captions below all pictures I want to select that now the other option that I have is all black and white I don't need to print them in black and white so they can all stay color so anyway I've selected the four pictures rectangular in shape and captions below all pictures now I'm going to hit create now notice what I did this is my title slide now, if I want to put, um, you know, the uh, Jones's home inspection, that's fine. You know, by Richard Elsey. Okay. And you can put anything you want on there. Put your photo if you choose. Um, but here's the uh, photos that I've taken. There's four slides with four per slide except for the last one I only had 15 photos okay so they're four per slide now now I can go back and quickly well let's see this is a, a sinkhole house uh, in Spring Hill you know um, these are live wires you know um, here's a fix Well, I don't I don't think it was a temporary fix I think that was the fix um, and nails okay protruding so I just want to show you yeah you can go in and put your you know description of the photos you know uh, thumbtacks uh, you know crushed wires uh, floor jack you know hydraulic jack being used uh, here's your AC stand um, so anyway you can go through here and put the description down I'm not necessarily going to do that. I just want to show you that's how it's done very easily. Now, something else I can do here that a lot of us need to do, okay, especially when we're doing some type of an inspection photo, is I'm going to go back to the home menu. Okay, the home menu there. Now, I want to go to this under drawings here. Okay, under drawings. See this list of items here? Now, notice when I select this button, Okay, the one on the bottom, it'll click them all down for me. So I can see, I can do all of these different shapes. Here's the different arrows, the lines. I can freehand, um, yeah, unlimited. You know, smiley face, put a little heart, lightning boat, um, uh, whatever you want to put in there. You can go through them and see for yourself. Now, I'm just going to use an arrow. Let me just select that. Now, I want to point to this you know which I'm sure everyone can see just to make sure you can see it see it I'm gonna change the color of that uh, to red so that it brightens up a little bit now you can put in it you can write in this you can put text and and add to it that's fine if you if that's what you wanna do uh, when I double clicked it it opened the drawing menu to say okay what else do you wanna do to that arrow you know I don't need to make it any fancier than what it is. 
I'm just pointing to something. So I'm going to go back to the home menu here. Now, this is a danger issue. So I grab this little shape here. Okay. Just put it right beside it. And again, I'll make it red so that everyone can see it. Okay. Now, these are the nails on the fence. Maybe I want to point those out. So I go to my circle tool and just... Now, notice it's going to shade it in. Well, that's okay. I'm going to go to shape fill up here. And this, this takes a little bit of time to play with to see what it will actually do for you. Okay, all the annotations. I'm going to put no fill. And that just leaves me the, the blue line. Well, again, that's hard for me to see. Um, so we can make the line a little thicker if we need to. Okay, well, here's the weight. Make it a little thicker. Um, you know, you, you may want to change the color on it. So, I mean, it's unlimited is what you can do. Now I can... You know, adjust this down a little bit, okay, to what I want to see. Um, and they understand that now. They'll immediately see it and understand what I'm trying to point out to them. So I can go through all these slides and do that too. So now I have them in a, a PowerPoint presentation show. But again, you know, I want to send this to a customer or to a realtor, whoever I'm doing an inspection for. So one of the things I can do at this point is I want to put it in a PDF format, a portable documents file, which most people use. Now, it's a print feature. When I go to my little icon up here and select it, when as I print, just select print. Now, it's coming up, and if I hit OK right now, it's going to print it out to my printer. I don't want to print it out to a printer because I'm going to electronically send this to somebody. So. Under the print name, I have Adobe on my system. I want to print this to an Adobe PDF. And now I hit OK. And it's saying, give me a name. So, present, uh, let's name it um, in Jones Inspection. How's that? OK. And now it's printing to the Jones and here it is in a PDF format now it's in a uh, it's in a lower quality of photos because it's print and when they print this out they can open it up and print it out for themselves okay and it's a small file format for them okay it re reduced everything so there I can send it to the customer it's a, just save it you know wherever I saved it at and do an attachment to a file and I can send it right to the customer right now Okay, so that's all there is into creating a photo album or working with photos for an inspection report. So hopefully that helped you out. We get a lot of questions about how that's done. So anyway, I hope that helps some people. I appreciate you watching the video with me. Again, my name is Richard Elsey, and I'm with the Contractors Institute.